Who is really free in the land of the free? What does freedom really look like? It was just one of those things you don't see every day. Tony Adams has limited contact with other human beings, which was why he was so happy to stop and talk to me that day. The propane stove in there, a oh. one foot by two foot kitchen. I make mandatory coffee before bed every night. Well, it, coffee all day, but mandatory coffee before bed. Um, I boil water. Oh, okay. Boil water, and then I take this plastic container from a coffee maker. And then I'll take an old creamer container. And that's where your filters are at. And you use the gas cylinder then to boil. And there's a propane, a one burner Coleman stove. Oh, yeah, that's right. Here. There's your kitchen. But I had taken and cut a round hole in the plywood counter. In doing so, so I can flush mount. So I can flush mount the propane stove flush and then put the coffee pot on there, boil water, pour the grounds which are in the folder, the folder container, the grounds here which are almost out, and pour it and set this. I uh, put a water bottle holder inside the trailer and it will hold the coffee cup and then you pour water drain and making an instant coffee through grounds into the coffee cup. What did you do before you were a carnival for 20 years? Really? But as a carny, I have nothing to show for, nothing to, nothing even to fall back on as in um, retirement. But as just riding a bicycle across the United States, I have history now. Because I've already done Niagara Falls, New York. Uh, I've done Pennsylvania twice. Um, Morgantown, West Virginia. Simpsonville, South Carolina. Brunswick, Georgia. Pensacola, Florida. All on this bicycle. Yeah. Wow. Like I say, the bike's 14 years old. My first five years was on a 10-speed. Did you, you build your own bike? Or? No, I bought it, but bike. modified it. I see. The trailer I built from scratch, where you see two bicycle forks on one axle. Okay. So you're a handyman, then you go... Did, did I learned how to weld in the carnival. I asked them, can you show me how to weld? They said, here's a welding helmet. Go watch that person weld. Okay. I have a full carton of eggs here. Eggs here. Don't need refrigeration today. No. I, well, everything last night, well, this morning was frozen. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, the milk is milk still, frozen. still frozen. I got jumper cable clips back here. They're hanging off the ceiling, which I don't use right now. But I can give your vehicle a jump start off the battery that I have. <laughs> That's great. But it's got a 12 volt, a 19 volt for a laptop. But I mainly use a 12 volt off of these style of plugs. Um, it's also set up to where I can take this plug and plug it in and then plug it into my DVD player, a portable DVD player, which so. is a nine volt, 12 volt use. So you're a mechanic and an electrician and? Uh, MacGyver, everything's MacGyver. There you go. It was a 1980s TV show that featured a hero that could construct whatever he needed on the fly with whatever tools and materials he had on hand. He always got out of any predicament just through his ingenuity. When Tony says he's a MacGyver, I believe him. Best wishes to you, Tony. Thank you. Don't get hit by car. I won't. I've been hit three times. Okay.